Staff Sergeant Travis Williams uh, from 1st Ranger Battalion, Savannah, Georgia. I currently serve as an electronic warfare operations NCO. Uh, I was selected to come up here um, by my performance uh, merit, <coughs> my leadership, their assessment of me. Uh, and this year I've had some unique experiences to service members. I've served as the interagency joint task force liaison. Uh, I've been an advisor on mobile deployments. Uh, and I've been a bit of squad here for at least three deployments now. Um, what I guess I'll start on when talking about leadership uh, is what people are afraid of when they enter a leadership position and that is not having the appropriate amount of experience to fill that role. Nobody expects you to have experience in a position when you're taking something. That's something you have to you know, develop and learn as you go. So I guess when you're put into a position of leadership, the expectation of you is that you have the adept capacity to learn um, and develop the next generation. Yeah, so I guess to quote experience is something that you gain shortly after you have the necessity for it. You're, you're never going to have uh, the correct amount of information going into a problem you're unfamiliar with. So that's a lot of leaders' greatest fear is not knowing how to solve a problem. Um, what in reality, that is one of the qualities that charge higher echelons of leadership to put someone in that role because the expectation is that in that management position you are responsible for the well-being of your own. Um, So obviously I think my greatest fear is, you know, through lack of training or lack of fulfillment in my position, I lose one of my one of the guys in my school or under my um, echelon or under my influence. Losing a guy is a great fear for me because that, you know, there's always one more thing you can do in a training environment. There's always one more thing you can do to prepare your squad. And if you lose somebody, you do not want to have to look back and think, hey, I could have better train or better trained my element or uh, been better prepared. So I think that's definitely my greatest fear is losing someone as a result of lack of training or lack of initiative. Um, and that's a common fear for a lot of folks. And the reality is you, you can't prepare for that. Uh, it's an eventuality that does happen. The only way to do that is to train and prepare your element to the best of your ability. So communicating mission and intent down your, to your lowest um, echelon is largely important because they have to understand value behind it. Um, it's very easy to give an empty task to someone that they don't have full grasp um, and understanding of it. And you can't expect to get a good return out of that. You need to make your subordinates believe in what they're doing. They need to have tasks. They need to have purpose behind it. They need to actually have some kind of um, belief behind what they're doing. Um, that applied value will produce a better product. You'll get a better return out of it. 